today on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. You know I had to do it to him. I have obtained the coordinates to a base built by my old friend, business partner, and facial hair connoisseur, Jay Schlatt. The truth is, Schlatt is one of many YouTubers that have played on 2B2T without making videos about it. He told me last year that he had started playing on the server for fun, so I knew eventually I had to show up unannounced just to see his reaction. I have obtained his coordinates without him knowing about it, so today, we're going to Jay Schlatt's secret base on 2B2T. And the best part is, it's not the only location we're traveling to today. Considering he was playing anonymously on an alt account, how I obtained these coordinates is kind of a long story, so I hope you're prepared. Before we start our journey today, I'd like to thank Honey for sponsoring today's video. Online shopping is meant to be easy, so why is finding coupon codes that actually work so hard? With Honey, it doesn't have to be. Honey is the free online shopping tool that helps you find promo codes and applies them to your shopping cart automatically. When you're checking out on websites for things like food delivery or online shopping, a little box will drop down. Click apply coupons and it scans the internet for promo codes and boom, you just saved money. Online shopping is still at record highs, so it's a great time to look for deals. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. If you don't want to waste money, make sure to get Honey. It doesn't cost anything, finds coupons with a click, and also works with PayPal and Venmo. It's legit. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash fitmc. That's joinhoney.com slash fitmc. Now then, let's get started. Now I'm sure you're wondering, Fit, how did you obtain Schlatt's coordinates? Well, a few months ago, a group of hackers named Nerds Incorporated revealed that they had been spying on the server for over three years using an exploit called NOCOM. This exploit allowed the hackers to track every single player and obtain the coordinates to all bases on the server. Since I had been working with them on some of my previous videos, it casually came up in conversation, can you give me some base coordinates? And they were like, no, we can't do that. It sets a dangerous precedent. And then I was like, I just want Schlatt's coordinates so I can prank him. And they were like, oh, okay, here you go. And that's how I got them. But it just so happens that they're in the same quadrant that I was heading to anyway. An associate of mine named Amino Acid has salvaged something incredibly rare from the ruins of a nearby base and has buried it for us to check out. I'm not going to spoil the surprise, but let's just say it's a server relic created many years ago and an incredibly rare find. Since the relic is closer to spawn, we'll be heading to that first, and then we'll travel to Schlatt's base. Once we tour the place, I'm going to send him a picture of it to see his reaction. I guess we're doing a little trolling today. I'm currently on one of my alt accounts used for base hunting, and I'm in the same quadrant as both locations. I've got everything I need for the journey, so let's hop into the nether and get things started. Now, since both of these locations are sort of out of the way, we do have to go through open nether, which is kind of a pain. The good news is that we don't have to get near nether spawn for this journey, which it's been pretty crazy lately, especially with the latest kick exploit. So get this. There's actually an exploit right now where if someone is writing on a sign and someone breaks that sign while they're typing on it, they get kicked from the server automatically. So there's definitely been some shenanigans going on. The old netherrack texture was burning my eyes, so I switched back to the new one. It's, it's definitely more pleasant to look at, especially going through a tunnel at Mach 10 like this. Oh, check it out. There's a portal on my radar. Excellent. All right, so this is our first stop of the day. The relic should not be far from wherever this portal takes us in the overworld. Now that we're back in the fresh air, I think we have a few thousand blocks of overworld travel ahead of us. It should be right under this dandelion. Now, the block you're about to see was created around nine years ago, and Amino worked hard to transport it here without accidentally reverting it. What you are looking at is a hacked smooth stone block. Even though these are easily obtainable in the modern versions of Minecraft, 
in Java version 1.12, which is what 2B2T is still currently on, you can't actually obtain these in survival or creative. The only way to spawn them in was to have backdoor access to the server and edit your inventory, which is why these blocks can occasionally be found at old bases from the early 2010s. This block in particular was actually spawned in by a player named I Tristan, who is actually one of the members of Nerds Incorporated, the same group that has given me the coordinates to Schlatt's base. So it's kind of funny how things come full circle on this server. But after Amino Acid salvaged it from the ruins of an old base, he used piston airships to transport it tens of thousands of blocks just to get it here safely. I'm glad we're able to document this block in person, because when the server updates in the near future, they won't be rare anymore, so at least we know this one is authentic. I did promise Amino that I would write him a book with my K-Pop Bob account, so that's his payment for delivering us this block safely. But now that this is out of the way, we can finally move on to getting towards Schlatt's base. I'm curious to see if these coordinates the nerds have given me are legitimate or if they're just trolling me. I'm just glad his base is in the same direction as the relic was. It definitely makes our trip way easier, so it worked out well. But we still have to navigate open nether, so I hope I have enough fireworks. Oh, check it out. There's... Oh, ow. I meant to do that. But there's an e-chest over there, so there's definite nether activity here. We must be close to Schlatt's location. There was no nether portal, so I had to build my own. So hopefully we're not too far away. Let's see. All right, my coordinates in the bottom left-hand portion of the screen, which you can't see, obviously, are telling me we're around a thousand blocks away. Wow, there's actually a lot of new chunks in this area, so if you don't know, those red squares under the ground are actually indicators that show that we are generating those chunks for the first time, so no one else has been here before. All right, looks like these are all previously generated chunks, so we are definitely close. It looks like we're about 400 blocks away. Oh man, I'm getting excited. I wonder what his building style is like. Did he build something massive, or did he build something small and quaint? I guess we'll find out. Alright, it should be right over here. Oh, there it is. Sure enough. Alright, let me land and make the preparations for the base tour. Let's do this. So this is it. This is Schlatt's actual base on 2B2T. Brought to you by the NoCom exploit, of course. But it's a very interesting looking build. It's not massive like a lot of other bases on 2B2T. It's just more quaint. You know, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But looking inside here, we've got a fireplace, some brick. Oh yeah. You know, this building style reminds me so much of just old school Minecraft. A lot of logs, brick, cobblestone, just basic blocks. You know, sometimes less is more. All right, here's the entrance. The Crumb Lodge, established November 2020. I wonder what crumb means. That's interesting. Wow, look at this. He's got the fancy carpet. He's got the table with the extended pistons. All right, so he knows a little bit about interior design. Not bad, not bad. He's got the fireplace. He's got the cozy seating here. Okay, you know, for a 2B2T base, this is pretty nice, I gotta say. So up here we've got the storage area. I wonder if there's anything interesting in these chests. I mean, so far it doesn't really look like it, and he's got the same organizational skills that I have, which is just taking a bunch of stuff and throwing it in the chest, you know? So if you have OCD, you must look away from your screen right now. The only thing I'm gonna take is the fishing rod, you know? Just a little souvenir from our little visit here. This will be an appropriate name on this family-friendly Christian Minecraft server. Looks like he's got a mob grinder right in his house. House. Oh, okay, it's the spawners under his house. That's clever. All right. Well, that's making efficient use of the space, I guess. I think we've seen everything there is to see upstairs, so let's go to the basement now, which is through these trap doors. There is a bed here, but if Schlatt took my advice from last year, hopefully this is a decoy bed and his real respawn point is somewhere else. And it looks like here's his mining tunnel. Oh yeah, he did the classic mine down to diamond level and just go in a straight line. It's like a maze down here, so he definitely did a decent amount of digging for diamonds. Wow, that's a lot of D's in one sentence. I think that's it for the interior of the base. Let's see if there's anything else on the outside. What's interesting is that there's this huge chunk of dirt here that hasn't grown into grass yet, which tells me that whatever Schlatt was doing here at the base, he must have just quit suddenly and hasn't returned since, because if he was active, that grass would have grown in by now. Now that we've toured the base and I've taken a world download, there's only one thing left to do. 
sends Schlatt a picture of his own base to see his reaction. If Schlatt was hiding here the whole time, I wonder who else has played on the oldest Anarchy server in Minecraft. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to follow me on my socials, so take it easy, FitFam, and stay alive out there.